Hi everybody and welcome back to Hypex Running. I'm Coach Rachel and today we have a one hour pyramid progression walk. I hope you guys are ready to get sweaty. If you miss any speed or incline changes, don't worry because there will be both. I don't want you to worry if you miss them because they'll be right over here for you to see on your screen. Then if you look over onto this side of your screen, you're going to see this nice long progression bar and that's going to show you where we are from start to finish through this whole entire workout. Let's make sure we have a water bottle. This is a longer workout so we want a water bottle. We want a towel. And if you are ready to get sweaty, let's look down at that tread. Hit that start button in three, in two, and one. Let's go. Game time. Here we go. Two, five, three, five to start. I know. We're starting off. Starting off with a bang. Okay. 90 seconds here. Two, five, three, five. So two, five is on the slower side. Three, five. Obviously, we're getting a little speedy. So take your time. You have 90 seconds to slowly start increasing your pace. I'm not telling you you, you get on the tread and you go. Okay. We have a warm-up for a reason. Allow your body to warm up. Right? So we got a lot of things in store for you. I hope you guys are ready to work. We're 30 seconds in. Give me maybe 0 .1, 0.1.2, right? So it's all walking. That don't mean it's going to be easy. 60 minutes of walking. You ever been outside? You've been to an amusement park and you walk all day and you get back into the car and your legs feel like they're going. Wah, 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 wah. That's what's going to happen today. Here we go. Take it back up. Another 0 0.1.2, right? We're 2535, five, slowly increasing on that 35 zone, right? You give me 30 more seconds. I'm going to take mine all the way up to that 35. Three, two, and one. All right, we're at that 35. That's the fastest pace. So from here, we're going right into our first incline walk. You can keep the pace the same. If you want to bump it up to a 40, it's 30, 40, suggestional paces three on the incline all right and we're there for two minutes we're still in the warm-up so again so since we have two minutes i'm gonna hit the incline right now here we go three on the incline and since we have two minutes i'm gonna slowly start increasing my pace again i'm at the three five i'm making my way up to that four zero and then we have a one minute we're gonna take the incline down just cool our jets for a second and get right into the first block. So it's progression, pyramid, pro pyramids and progression walk. So what does that mean? When we're in our pyramid, we're slowly going up the hills and down the hills. And it's a long, long pyramid. This pyramid, whew, it's got to be at least two or three miles long. Okay. I'm going to increase my pace just a little bit, right? Was that 30 seconds in? Added on point one, point two. So every, everything is good because it's only one minute at a time. So even if you get lost, you don't hear my cues, you're not seeing it on the, on the screen over here, don't you fret. Just realize every time you look down, if it's not in the same minute, add on something extra. All right? So the first block, we're slowly increasing our incline. Right? Every minute, we're adding on point 0.5. It goes up to an 8. Once we hit the 8, that starts block number 2. That decreases it, and then... From there, that's the first whole half. The second half, we play around with the pace, okay? First half is all about that pyramid. Second one, it's like we're done. We're like, we just walked up to this hill. We're just trying to get home, okay? We're speeding up the pace. Hurry up and get, hurry up and boogie. We're going home, okay? That's basically what it is. <laughs> Give me a little bit more if you can. Take it to your maximum walking pace. Good. We're still on that three on the incline. You have 30 seconds. We end it with an extra 90 seconds. It's on that flat road, but see if you can keep this pace, right? If you're on that 4-0, see if you can stay there. <coughs> you got it, 10 seconds. Pump the arms, right? Squeeze your glutes. We're here. We have made the choice that we are gonna walk for an hour and it's gonna be fun. So love it. Take it down, flat road. All right, so there's 12 inclines to get up. Well, 13, 13 to get up, making our way back down. So as the hill kind of increases, right? As we kind of increase the incline, the pace is gonna get harder to hold if you're walking at that fastest pace. So we start off our 3-0 to 4-0, right? So far, like in the beginning, maybe when we get to like 5.0 on the incline, we can still hold this pace. If past any point, it starts to get too hard to hold and you are desperately trying to grab onto those handlebars, right? I want you to take down the pace, point one, point two. The goal is we don't touch the handlebars ever, 
ever when we walk. I know you see it all the time when you go to the gym or you see people working out. They're holding on to the handlebars. They're holding on to the treadmill, holding on for dealer life. They're just holding their legs are flapping. Here, we're working the whole body, okay? You're pumping the arms. So if that means you have to slow down the pace, in order to do that, you do that. We don't cheat. We don't stop. We keep moving. All right. Now get ready to start. All we're going to do is start with two on an incline and another 10, 9, let's go, 5, 4, 3, 2, 2 on the incline. Remember I said it's a minute at a time, so we're here. There's a lot. There's a lot. By the time we go all the way up, all the way down, that's 25 intervals. And that's just the first half. I know. Oh, no, it's amazing. Everybody's doing it. It's fun. So just know that the first, what, 30 minutes, for the next 25 minutes, you don't have to change your pace if you don't want to. All you got to worry about is that little incline. Adding on 0.5 every single minute. Like I said, so if you get lost, you don't remember where we are, for some reason your screen ain't working every minute. Bing, bing. We got one up. We got one up. We got one up. Going up. 20 seconds. Squeeze those glutes. Making sure the hips stay underneath us, right? Not leaning our chest forward. Not letting the feet come first. Our legs are staying underneath us. We want seven. We'll do it again. They're going to keep coming like this, all right? We have five, four, three. Come on. Point five. So we're at two five right here. Two five. I was already at 2.5. Don't ask me when my treadmill decided to increase on me. Maybe it knows. Imagine you like inserted a piece of paper and you didn't even get the option. It was just moving the workout for you. Next level technology. It'll be here sooner than later. Trust me. Keep going. 30 seconds. How are we feeling? Yeah, not so bad, right? We're like, okay. All right. We got this. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Get ready, 20 seconds, we do it again. We're going up, we're at a 2.5, we're going to a 3.0. We're getting the party started, I know, we're still not here yet. Still, you might be starting to feel it, all right? You're still in like, okay, I'm still got a lot of energy. Give me 0.5, we're at a 3.0 on that incline. 3.0, 4.0 stays the pace. All right, maybe you're starting to feel it now. You're like, okay. My body's starting to generate a little bit of perspiration. My back start feeling a little tingly. I'm trying to think of where I start feeling the heat. It might be in my core. It might be my shoulders and my chest up here. And then I know, I'm like, okay, it's game time. Showtime synergy. Anybody ever see the show, Gem and the Holograms? Did I, guess, did I just age myself? You know how old I am now? <laughs> Jeff the holograms, she has like this magic earring. And she's just like a regular girl who looks like a superstar. And then she says Showtime Synergy. She's still that girl, but still a superstar, but now is a musician <laughs> and has a girl band. Come on, cartoon that changed my life. Let's go take it up. Another point five, three, two, one. Showtime Synergy, that means we going. Showtime, baby. We walking up this hill. Pump the arms. Honestly, it was on Netflix for a little bit. And when I had my son, we're talking about like, he was, it was like 10 years ago. He was actually into it for a little bit. And nothing made my heart so happy. You ever like, if you have kids and they like, like the things you used to like when you were a kid, they're like, like, yes, I got something. We did it. It's a good feeling. 30 seconds. We do it again. All we do here today, one minute at a time. Right? Just think. It's a 60 second, 60 second, 60 minute workout. You're deducting a minute. Every single interval. We're almost to the finish line. We get there a minute at a time. 10 seconds, we do it again. We do it again. Good, try to feel it in the lower abdominals. You will. Right, when we go up the hill. Three, two, one, four, five. On that incline. Well, I'm off there. We should be. How is my incline off? Three, five. There we go. You know, I, sometimes I'm not paying attention. 
right? Let me make sure we're, yeah. Okay, I was just went over. Sometimes I'm not paying attention and I accidentally hit my thing. Either I'm picking up my pace or picking up my incline. Ironically, I never go down. I never hit the nozzles going down and take my incline down or take my speed down. I only ever hit them up. That's how my life would work. I never can make it easier. Always feel kind of subconsciously always trying to make it harder. Let's go. We do it again. In 10. Now we're going to go to 4 0 on the incline. In 3. In 2. Pick it up. Pick it up. All right. You got it. How's it feeling? This is where you're starting to feel it, right? The incline. Starting to feel the hills. You feel it, heel to toe, heel to toe, squeeze the glute, right? The lower abdominal, starting to fire up. Pump the arms, forward and back. Try not to swing them all the way around, right? Just straight up, straight down. Like grip in your hands. This is too easy. I always tell people you can use like little hand weights. One or two pounds, you don't need to go crazy, you know? A lot of times people want to work out, they go right for the big boys. Again, I like talking about my son today. I took him to the gym with me one time. I'm talking about a couple years ago, too. Yo, this kid might have been like 11 or 12, trying to stack the weights. I'm like, you got to learn how to crawl before you can walk, honey boo. Right? Five pounds, 10 pounds. Let's go. Take that incline up for five. Pick it up. Same here, okay? As slow steps up. We're getting there. You're going to start to feel it. And again, Remember, we're at that pace where I'm saying you're going to start questioning whether you can hold the speed with the hills, right? If you can hold, hold. If you need to take it off, just start by point 0.1, right? Don't go down point 0.5. Just take a little bit off because this isn't running, right? When we run, point 0.1, point 0.2 is not a big deal. Really don't feel it. Walking usually happens within like 1.0 to 1.5 miles per hour. A whole lot of change happens just with going increasing 1.0. So just take it down 0.1. And then as the hill gets higher, maybe you can do it again. But we're trying to hold the whole entire time. Three, two, one. We're 5-0 on that hill. Incline number seven. Right? We go to 13. That's the top of the hill. Our top of the hill is at an 8 incline. I don't know why I'm giving you the cheat code. Right? It's going to happen when it happens. We're going to get there when we get there. <sighs> There's no way around it today. It's just one minute. You get through that minute, you go to the next. I love it. I love it. I love, work I love working out. I was going to say that, but I really do like walking. Silent sleeper. Everybody sleeps on it. So it's not a workout. So it doesn't make you skinny. So it doesn't make you lose weight. It's all a lie. It's all a lie. Anything that's going to move your body for an hour, you don't think it's going to change your body. Whether you see it, you will feel it. Okay? We go again. In five, four, three, two. Pick it up. And why are we letting other people tell us what feels good with us? Right? If you're not an active person and you say, I don't like to work out, but I don't mind walking, do not let anybody take that away from you. You don't have to do CrossFit. You don't have to pick up yoga. You do what you like, okay? But when you get here, you dedicate that time to yourself and you don't let any of those worldly distractions take away the thing you like to do, right? Even if you don't like to do, you're learning to like it. Don't let the worldly distractions take away your time. This is your time. I'm leaning. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I just started going to the side. It happens. Hit a hill. All right. <clears throat> 15 seconds. We do it again. You got it. You got it. We have five, four, three, two. We're at a six. Okay. We're at a 6.0. So we have six, six and a half, seven, seven and a half, eight. We're almost there, okay? We're at nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Five more minutes to the top of the hill. Whew. Once we get to that top of the hill, all we do is take our way back down. I really would hope 
that on the way down, you don't change your pace because every minute gets easier, okay? So when we get to the top of the hill, like I said, we got about five more minutes. If it starts to get too hard, maybe take point one, point two off. Get to the top of the hill without touching the handlebars, okay? You got this. Yeah, see? Sweaty? It's working. It's working. Don't let them tell you anything different. You like it? It's working for you? That's all that matters. Okay? Let's go. We go five, four, three, two. Oh, God, what did I do? I was going up to like eight already. Two. Too much pressure. Too much pressure. Here we go. We're 15 minutes in, right? Quarter of the way there. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Don't stop. Woo! Three more minutes coming our way to the top of the hill. Fight for it, right? Now, just because I said you can take off point one doesn't mean that you should just do it because you start to feel a little bit of pressure. Know the difference, right? Between like not making it, like literally not making it and then putting a little pressure onto yourself and giving up. Two different things. We don't give up, right? The hills are steep. This hill outside, probably looking somewhere like on this, this level. You can't see it because we're on the treadmill, but you ever been hiking? That's these hills. Three, two, let's go. Seven on that incline. <sighs> incline number 11, interval number 11. 12 to 13, okay? Once we get to 13, we finish it. We start taking it back down. Let's feel a little breathy now, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. Whew. Man, sometimes when I walk my butt cheeks, I'll be so sore the next day. Inner thighs, oh. I don't know, when I used to walk all the time, um, after I had my kids, all I did, put those suckers in the double stroller. Anybody have a double stroller? Two kids. One has a car seat, the other one's like a toddler, you got full of snacks. That sucker's like a good 75 pounds. You push that for a few miles? Ladies, gentlemen, you got, you're gonna lose some weight like that, okay? You know, seven, six, five, four. Here it goes, three, two, give me point five. This is where we fight for it. This is where you figure out how bad you want change in your body, right? Because walking, like I said, it could be easy. It could be easy or you can make it hard. The next four or five minutes, we're staying in that danger zone. Okay, stay with me as much as you can. Try not to touch the pace. Do not touch the incline. That was not even an option. It's off the table. How dare you? <laughs> Let's go team. 30 seconds. 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. We got it. Woo! You know it. You know it. You like it, you want more of it. 20 seconds to the top of that hill. <laughs> it's gonna get easier after this moment, I promise. After this last minute, stay with me. <sighs> I ain't trying to increase my pace. <laughs> you see that? Three, two, one, let's go. Eight on the incline. I hit my nozzle up. <laughs> I just try to walk faster than four. Oh, all right, that's when we go and to the progressive walks. I want you to kind of tune into the way you feel right now because we get to the second half and we're on like the flatter road. I want you to tell me what feels harder for you. Slowly increasing your pace on a flat road or keeping your pace the same, walking on an incline. Everybody's gonna have something different, right? You know, burning. I mean, what am I trying to say? Walking on an incline, I got it, I got it, figure it out. Walking on an incline, it's supposed to burn more belly fat, so then you're just walking flat road, just saying. We start taking it down, you starting to feel it? Oh yeah, guess what? It gets a little easier every single minute now. In eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, take off, point five. We're back down to seven and a half. Whew, I know. You're like, it's not that much of a difference. It's not. Not right now. Okay? Give me three more minutes. You're going to feel a whole weight off your shoulders left. I promise. Just stay hungry for it. This is the hard part, okay? 
thing about this is being the hardest part of the whole entire workout. How are you going to handle it? You going to let the workout control you? You're going to control it. We're going to control it. And in the hard parts, we're going to dig in deeper. We're going to push a little harder. Okay, because once we get down, once we get down to this flat road, there's a little moment of recovery. You can take down the pace, okay? 15 seconds. We do it again. In 10, 9, let's go. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 7. Every minute getting easier. 20 minutes into this workout. We're a third of the way there. Didn't seem too long ago that I said we're a quarter of the way there, right? One step at a time, one minute at a time. Keep the breath going. Listen, you are strong. You are tough. You are not a quitter. All we're doing is walking. Take the stress out of it, okay? You don't have to think about it, doing anything crazy. This is the worst of it, right here, right now. And you're handling it with ease. Just think about that. So calm your mind, right? Sometimes our heart rate starts to go high. We go into the freak out mode into our brain. And I do it all the time. When I box, there's like a moment if I'm sparring with somebody, trying not to get hit. Do you know what I mean? Like you're moving, you're grooving. All the tightness in your chest. Let's go. Three, two, one. You feel like you have 100 tons sitting on your chest. If you're new to working out, you're going to feel that at some point, right? The point is you don't run away from that feeling. You figure out how to control it. You control it. Control your heart rate. The heart rate is set in, right? Either by like a miscommunication between your body and your mind. Maybe the breathing is off. Maybe you started to go into like this place of fear, right? Where you don't think you're gonna make it. Where it's too tough. You don't think you can go on. You gotta learn how to calm your nerves, right? Your breath controls a whole lot of stuff going on with your body. So you learn how to control your breath. You be Gucci. All right, 20 seconds. We do it again. All right. Here we go. We're going down to a six. So it should start to feel a little bit easier. In eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Take it down. Oop, wrong one. How's that feel? All right. It's going to get two more minutes. You're in the home stretch. Okay. When we get down to that five, you're going to love it. Whew. That water tastes delicious. Make sure you're drinking water, guys. Usually fatigue sets in around 45 minutes in. Right? We're like 20 minutes till we get there. Depending on our levels, pretending on what, depending on what we did before, you might be getting there. Make sure you hydrate. Right? It's going to help you keep going. Dehydration happens. Majority of us think we're hydrated. We're not hydrated. Drink water. Here we go. 15 seconds. Oh, I lost my towel. Casualty. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, five, five. All right. You guys know that song? Five, five with brown eyes. Anytime anybody asks me how tall I am, I think that's, I think sing that part right there. <laughs> You'll never forget. Okay? Five five with brown eyes. Smile like the sunrise. <sighs> See why I'm a, I don't sing in public. <laughs> Twenty seconds. Let's go. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Thirty seconds, we do it again. This is it here. Y'all. Feel this you? I feel it. It's starting to go down, trickle down my neck. <laughs> right? getting salty in here 20 seconds we do it again <laughs> just think we're going to incline our interval number 20 <laughs> interval number 20 we have 25 inclines we're almost there five four three two give me half down oh now you know i might have lied we we're on 18 i don't know what's the 20 you guys, you guys, here's the thing. Here's the thing about me. <sighs> Terrible with math. <laughs> Just keep walking. Getting easier. 
feeling stronger. A little bit more pep in our step every single minute till we get to that flat road. The good news is, let me just before I become a liar. Once we hit that flat road, we're done with the incline for the rest of the workout. Yeah, we still have 30 minutes to go. Yeah, that's okay. It's okay. You start off slow, we're gonna build up our pace. We're taking it down again. In another 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Take it down, four, five. Let me make sure. Okay, yep, 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 math is right. We're doing it, you would think all I have to do is every minute go down. And it would be so easy to follow. <laughs> Sometimes I hit it and it's like, goes down a hole instead of a half. And it feels like a half, but it's really a hole. So I'm off. It happens to the best of us, okay? You just stay focused and notice if you mess up and then you fix the problem. Okay, here we go. Whew. 30 seconds, we do it again. I'm starting to feel noisy noise though. A few miles in already, inner thighs, feeling tight. Back of the hamstrings, glutes, feel it in my core. We take it down again. And another 10, nine, eight, yeah, five, four, three, two, take it down. Go, we're at a four. Okay. Listen. Even if you are an avid worker out it, right? And you lift all the time, you run all the time. There is days that are just not created equal. You want to do something, but you don't know if you can push super hard. These are what these workouts are for, right? They're for everybody. Beginners, intermediate, advanced people. You're not going to ever feel a downside, right? Getting on the treadmill, moving your body for an hour. There's really no downside to that. So anybody who tells you anything different, they're trying to sell you something. All right, 15 seconds, 10. We'll do it again, we'll take it down. I'm getting so serious now. Let's go, five, four, three, two, one. We're in the home stretch, right? 27 minutes in. 3-5 on the incline. We have this one, one, two, three. Three more minutes on the incline. And then we're officially done with the hills for the rest of the workout. So even when we're on a flat road, we're gonna try to keep the tread on a 0.5. If your tread doesn't have a 0.5, option to go to zero, option to go to one. If you have 0.5 as an option, stay there. You're honestly not gonna feel that. That you won't feel. But it's gonna just give you a little bit of something, right? You don't wanna be tipped down, perfectly even, smidgen on the upside. 20 seconds, we do it again. Whew. Almost halfway through this workout, team. Good. You have another 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Give me 0.5 off. Three more minutes now. I know I, I sounded like I said three minutes, but I meant three minutes after we finished that minute. You'll get used to it. I'll trick you every single time. I'm a trickster. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What do you want? How do you think you get it? You think change is going to happen by sitting on your couch? It's not good. Yeah, you could do a lot by just changing up your diet. Eventually, you need to add in some movement. And I'm not saying just to lose weight. Your body needs movement, right? You ever get like the fidgets, a handshake, right? There's your body trying to release energy that's like just being locked in. This is why walking is the best. It doesn't take a lot of effort to just to go outside, go for a walk, go to the gym, get on the treadmill. If you have a gym or you have a treadmill, walk in your house. But that, your body craves to release an energy, right? Once it holds on, it turns into all these other things we can't manage. Three, two, one. That's where we take it down. Or two, five, anxiety, stresses start to kick in. It could be a whole lot of life drama, right? But that also that built up energy that we're not getting out of our system, make it 10 times worse. 
You ever like have a really shitty day? You go for a walk, you go for a run, you feel better? Yeah, that's because walking picks up your endorphins, you get a little dopamine high. Your body needs that. And it's natural, you're doing it for yourself. You're not using sugars, alcohol, other substances. Right? You're you're creating your own happiness. You have to start learning how to do that. It takes a lot of practice and it takes hard work. And it takes a lot of mental strength. I said this in my run, and I say it all the time. Working out, running, walking. Mentally, mentally, you need to be mentally strong to be physically fit. Right? But you can't tell yourself to quit. Three, two, one. Last minute on our hill. Last minute on our hill. You have a two-minute walk and recovery on a flat road. It's a 3040. I want you to actually use it as a recovery. So if you're with me, you're on the higher side. I'm on that 40. I'm taking it all the way down to a three. I'm gonna pick up my water, hydrate, finally pick up my towel off the floor, towel off. I'm gonna really use that because I know we still have about another 25 minutes of hard work coming our way. All right? And it's hard for a different reason. Because you think you're moving and grooving now. <sighs> what did I say in the beginning? 1.0 difference. Walking makes a huge difference in your body, okay? You feel it. You're gonna feel the second half just as much as you felt these inclines. Get ready to take it to a flat road. Take it to that recovery moment in 10, in eight, in five, four, three, two, flat road, 0.5, remember if you can, 3 0, 4 0. I'm gonna grab my towel finally. If I could bend. All right. Put my towel back on. Hey, I just I just got off the hills. All right. If you have 0.5 on your truck, can you even feel it? Right? Nothing. I just want that to be perspective. Just a little bit something extra. Most likely it is a mental thing, not a physical thing. So when you like see something and it's off the norm, you come up with like a workout program and they're like increased by 0.5 and you're really like mentally thinking you can't do it. It's mainly mental, okay? Try it. Try to go harder and then you can understand that it's just not there yet. But if you don't try and you give up, it ain't ever gonna happen, right? All right, the good news is we start off slow. So we have 11 walks, 11 intervals. We'll go back to a flat road, and then we start the pace all over. So we slowly start to increase. So just know wherever you go, wherever we start, right, we're gonna add on every single minute, at least 0.1, probably just 0.1, there's a 11. So you're gonna start off slow, and then you pick it up, okay? Every single minute. You can start exactly where you are, right? Maybe a little bit more. See if you can go outside. So now that we're on the flat road, I'm going to start a little bit, a little bit lower. But when I get to my max, I'm going to be over 4.0 because I know 4.0 is my max, especially when I'm walking up my hill. But I'm going to try to go 0.1, 0.2 over. All right. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. First one. We're starting off slow. Easy. You earned it, okay? It was too easy, kick it up a notch. What we're trying not to do is go up and down, up and down, up and down. Where it's a slow progression to pick up our pace. Enjoy this moment while you have it, okay? You just worked really hard. I just want you to put, just want you to understand that walking up all those hills, just because we're halfway through and we got halfway to go and it's a slower pace right now, doesn't mean you didn't just put in a lot of work. If you're newer, to the fitness on your fitness journey, enjoy this moment. Right? Even if like you had a long week, you had hard workouts, this is your easiest workout, it's like your recovery day, enjoy that moment. It's a recovery day for a moment, for a reason. This is the reason. 10 seconds, eight seconds. I know I sound like a crazy person half the time, but I eat, sleep, and breathe fitness. I just want everybody to know. Take it up, three, two, one. There's not a day that I really don't work out taking rest days almost like crush my soul it's like what am i gonna do with my body what am i gonna do with all this built up energy i know better than anybody what it feels to feel like you suck at something to have it terrible days 
to have really great, amazing days, to feel really strong, to feel really weak. I've been through it all. Okay. The one thing I never did was quit on myself. I always bet back on me. I know I have some days, you know, you're just in a sad mood. You cried out, you need a break. The next day I give myself that time and then I come back and I work harder. And that doesn't mean like I just, that's, that's often on the treadmill with everything. This here is to help bring the quality of your life up, right? Not take it away. If it's stressing you out, reevaluate. Why is it stressing you out? Don't quit, but why? I asked you, I have a deep conversation. Do you ever talk to you though? You don't have to do it out loud. Three, two, one. Don't have to do it out loud. Don't have to be a bunch of weirdos. But like you ever just sit and like say you have a choice, right? We'll say working out is the example. You have an hour. You could sit and watch your favorite show or you could walk for an hour. What is the reason you're picking the other one instead of the one that's doing something good for your body? Just ask. Talk. You're going to debate back and forth with yourself, right? The one that's usually the slacker is going to chime in more, right? You get used to it. Trust me. Stick with me. How are you feeling now? You're like, oh, this is not so bad right now. I know. I know. It feels nice. We're building our pace back up, though. So the nicey nice part, just like when I said hill from two to the incline two to like four, five, five, oh, pick it up, point one. Wasn't so bad once we got after that five, oh, on the incline, it started to get same thing. First few minutes, not so bad. You start to feel that progression. Starts to get a little harder. I wonder if we're going down. Oh, no, we're going back up. Okay, so we go start slow, we pick up our pace, recovery moment, start slow, pick up our pace. So same thing over and over again. 30 seconds, we do it again. Good. We're on progression. Number five, 2939. Nine. I know I haven't really been calling them out. I just want you to increase by 0.1 every minute. So we're going 10 seconds, eight seconds, six, five, four, three, two, here we go. Starting to feel it now, okay? Now I'm picking up the pace. Getting a little fast. Body's working a little bit harder. Enjoying the moment. 37 minutes into this workout. This, this workout is exactly 59 minutes on the dot, okay? So just think you are literally, literally almost there. I <laughs> know, yeah, baby. I oh, know, baby. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> 20 seconds. We got a need for speed up in here. and We're getting it every single minute at a time. Sweaty and ready for the next minute. Here we go. In five, four, three, two. All right. 38 minutes in, 3040 on the clock. Listen, if you're walking at a 40 now and you go up to a 45, you must be a gazelle. Them long legs. I think the fastest I really can walk without turning it into a run is at a 43. You got to know. You just got. Uh, Give yourself a little speed test, you know? Maybe not after this workout, you're a little tired. Maybe next time before you get on the treadmill, maybe you don't have to do every single minute, every 30 seconds increase, see where it turns in from a walk to a run. Kind of know your difference. Give yourself a little gauge. Like this is my medium pace, this is my hard pace, right? Eventually you stick with me, we'll figure it out. But if you kind of want to know, you see the numbers, you're newer to, to walking, newer to fitness. You're like, I don't know if I can hold a 4-0 at all. Try it for 30 seconds. Let's go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's go. Even if you don't have a treadmill, I know it sounds silly. You can put me in your pocket. <laughs> you can just listen to me. I'll tell you when to walk. The best thing is like if you're having a hard time with um, like the hills and stuff, 
So you don't have a treadmill. Because some of us don't. And the gym's closed. What are you going to do? And you're like, I can't walk on incline. Go to Hopefully your local track is open. I know some of them are closed. Um, but like your town track. If they have the bleachers when they say to walk on incline, just maybe walk up and down the stairs. Give yourself some option. There's always something extra you can do. You just kind of have to get creative and think out of the box. Doesn't mean you have to go zero to 100. Just get a little bit more creative. And the same thing with your pace. You can slowly just start to pick it up a little bit more, a little bit more. I think, I'm not sure that Strava will tell you what pace you're walking at. And I do think Strava is still free. Here we go. Add on. Point one. If not, I'm sure there's millions of apps which you could put on your phone that'll tell you the pace you're walking at, which would be really beneficial if you don't have a treadmill, you know? And then you could just kind of see every minute, just pick it up a little bit more. You're like, I gotta make it so you guys can figure out a way to keep your body in motion, okay? I'm not gonna let you just because you don't got a treadmill say, yeah, I can't got a treadmill. My, my treadmill doesn't incline. We gonna figure it out, right? Figure something out. There's always a way. There's a will. There's a way. Let's go. Let's go. 20 seconds. We do it again. We got three more minutes. Three more minutes. And then we take it back down. 10 seconds. We have a two minute little recovery piece just like between block two, block one, and block two. We're going three, two, one, add on point one. All right, so we're at three, three, four, three, somewhere in between. Squeezing those glutes, right? Feeling it in your butt cheeks, right? Oh, whoa, 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 big booties. Let's go. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to build this booty. If walking is going to make it happen, let's go. That's what walking on the hill is going to do. Build that gluteus maximus. 30 seconds. Two more minutes. You ready? So wherever you you took your recovery pace before is where you're gonna go back when we get there. But don't get too excited. You still got two minutes. Okay, we have two more times to increase our pace. We go to eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now, I already know, majority of us are going to pick that the inclines are harder than the picking up of pace. But, some of those hills are tough, man. Hills, of walking on an incline, I'm not even joking. If you ever go outside and go hiking and, like, sometimes you don't see the incline on the hill until you're, like, midway of it. And you're like, this is torture. My, my quads are on fire. Your calves are on fire. And her thighs are sore already. Change is going to happen. Just believe and work. Let's go. One more minute. And we're going to go to the home stretch, okay? 15 seconds. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. You got 10. Nine. Last one on this pickup of pace. Three, five, four, five. In three, two, one. Let's go. I know. Listen, you deserve whatever snack you want after this. Pick a snack. One snack. Not seven of the same snacks. One good snack. I'm a big firm believer of treating yourself. I don't, like, when it comes to diet, everybody's diet is different. I'm a firm believer. you really trying to make some change, right? Doing a whole lot of change at once is really hard to just maintain, right? You're changing your, your physical, so you're adding in workouts, then you're completely changing your diet. They have 20 seconds, we take it down to our flat road, take it down to our 3.0, 4.0, slow down the pace. So I just, don't have to listen to me. I'm not telling you what to eat, what not to eat, but what I'm saying is if you decided recently you wanna change your whole entire life, right? And you decided you're gonna start walking every single day, take it down, 3.0, 4.0, Maybe give yourself some time, right? So we add in the workouts, right? We say three, three days out of the week, we do 30 to 45 minutes, we walk. Now we're trying to change out our diet. 
pick and choose. You don't have to go zero to 100. You don't have to cut out all sugar. You don't have to only eat, take away all your carbs. You only don't have to eat just protein and veggies. Breathe, <sighs> right? Little changes along the way. Maybe you pick a goal for the week, okay? Today, I'm going to eat three, whatever your meals are. Say you're normally eating three meals a day, right? Two of those meals I'm gonna eat super healthy. The last one I'm gonna choose. I'm not overeating. I'm not making up for lost time on those meals, but I'm gonna eat something that I normally would eat, right? Say you have your eggs in the morning, salad in the afternoon, right? But you're so used to eating bacon, egg, and cheese for breakfast. Hello, New Jersey, right? Taylor ham, egg, and cheese. It's New Jersey, right? Then for lunch, you got chicken parm, fresh mozzarella, prosciutto sandwich, right? That's your norm. And then dinner, you have like steak and potatoes and, and, mash, uh, and mac and cheese, right? Like that's your normal three meals. All right. All right. That's okay. Listen, we like what we like, okay? But let's try to like change up two or three of those. Just make a one little adjustment through the day. Give yourself something, right? Don't torture yourself. You gotta actually, there's a fine line for like wanting to change and like completely making yourself miserable. You guys ready to do it again? I know. All right, here we go, progression. We start all over again. I think I talked way too fast, way too much. <laughs> Let's go three, two, one. We start two, five, three, five. So. Add on point one here. Add it on. It's fine. We're going to build our way back up again. When I like really started getting into fitness, I was like, right. I was always into fitness. I'll put that out there. But like after, after I had my kids, um, what I would do is take like what I normally would eat and like took away a portion of it, right? I started there and then, so like if I had a meal, I eat like three quarters of that meal. I obviously would make sure I'm eating enough calories to sustain my body, but I would take away a little bit of that, right? And then I would start switching things out, right? Until I started becoming really, really healthy. And then that became my lifestyle. It's all about making tiny little adjustments along the way. We're going three two one pick it up it's you don't have to change your whole life overnight that's really going to be hard to sustain you're just so used to doing something one way and then all of a sudden we completely change it it could happen we could do it but that mental focus has to stay there so my opinion the best way to do it set little goals make adjustments along the way but stay disciplined stay to those choices all right Let's get back to the walk. Enough about that. Okay? We're doing it again. Coming up. We're going 2737 on minute 48. Can you believe we're almost done? Can you believe it? This is getting a little bit faster. And then we take it to our full cooldown. Yeah, I got a burp along the way. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, pick it up. All right, two, seven, three, seven, right here. We're on progression number three, three to 11, and then we're done. Uh, sounds like a lot. You got about eight minutes left of hard work, okay? And they slowly increase. Then we go to our full cool down. We cool down, recover for the last three minutes. Okay, so something to look forward to. We're almost there. You can see the finish line. Just look straight ahead. It's right there. All you have to do is walk. And every minute we're getting a little faster. It's getting just a little bit closer. Stay, stay here. Stay with me. Stay present in the moment. Anything and everything you got going on after, it'll still be there. Right here. I know, because I know what happens. Listen, I told you I've been doing this for a long time. We're going to increase in three, two, pick it up. You start looking at the time, you start looking at your miles, start looking at the calories burned, you start convincing yourself you did enough. It happens. You're like, nah. And you hear like the phone ring, your texts are going off, Instagram's blowing up, baby's starting to cry, work calls are coming in. You start convincing yourself, I did enough. Let's stop right here. 
That's not discipline. That's a letting that little self-doubt creep in. You set a goal. You picked this workout. You said, I got 60 minutes, so take every single second. Do not cheat yourself. You deserve to give yourself 100%. Get used to that. Get used to setting a goal and completing the goal. I know, it'd be so easy to jump off the treadmill 10 minutes early. You will be disappointed. Eventually, you'll be like, I could do more. I don't know why I did that to myself. You got one body. This is it for us, right? You're not, nobody else is going to take care of it for you. Absolutely not. Nobody's going to tell you what to eat, how to move it, how to dress it, when to sleep. Pick it up again. Let's go. So you have to stay in charge. If anything else, right, we're all trying to fight for control, work, relationships. You are in control of you. No way can take that away. Let's go, team. See this? All of us. Strong. We're strong. Got to get the friction out. Let's go. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. We got six minutes of hard work left. I, I don't know. I'm going to start rapping. It's fine. It's fine. Been watching the Wu-Tang Saga. All of a sudden, I'm a professional rapper. <laughs> I don't know what's happening to me. Let's go, guys. Pick it up, pick it up. <laughs> I can't stop. Once you, once you pop you up, <laughs> don't stop. All right. <coughs> this little thing, okay? Here we go. We're going. Should be at a 3-0 to a 4-0 in three, two. Pick it up. This is where it starts to get a little speedy, right? We're in the home stretch. I get enough. That little, that cross line, the finish line, is right there. You see it? It's a little blur right now, but every step starts to come in more focus. You know what's waiting there? That version of you that you see in your head. Just waving. Like, hey, I'm here. Tag me in. Tag me in, homie. Let's go. 30 seconds. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. We're going 52 minutes. 52 minutes in. Got about 25 seconds. And then we increase again. I know. I know, you want it to be done. It's a long workout. Just enjoy this moment while you have it. Maybe you have to go back. You got to log back into work. What would you rather be doing? Five, four, three, two. Give me point one. Working on yourself right here, right now? Or going back and having to do work for somebody else? Huh? Which one's harder? Which one's worse? I like my job. I like being here. I don't know about you guys. This is my favorite job I've ever had. I get to hang out, get to walk, get to talk to people, mainly to myself in the basement. I making miracles happen. <laughs> Let's go. 25 seconds at a time. I don't know why I said 25 seconds. It's a minute. It's a minute at a time. I said 25 seconds. In mind, brain, sometimes they don't connect. Let's go. Again. Dang. I did it again. Mind and the brain are the same thing. Mind and the mouth. 15 seconds. See, I told you. <laughs> they don't always connect. Let's go. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two. Pick it up. 53 minutes in. Three, two, four, two. Last four minutes. Last four minutes of hard work. Just think, four more times we increase our pace. Four more minutes to get everything you need. It's not four more minutes and we're finally done. It's four minutes to keep showing up for yourself, putting in the hard work. Eh? Let's go. I don't want to hear it. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to hear it. We're going to finish. <laughs> Let's go. Sometimes you need that tough love. Right? A little smack on the back. A little pick you up. Listen, you are not a quitter. Thumbs up, you're not a quitter. <laughs> 10 seconds. Look at me. Let's go. I'm going, you're going. I'm working, you're working. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Pick it up. All right. Progression number nine. Three, three, four, three. Fastest ones coming your way. We were made for this moment. Right? We already did it once. We could do it again. 
feeling in the core? Yeah. You get sore abs. I'm not kidding. It's this constant wiggle, wiggle, right? The torso, arm pump, you're feeling it in the core. Squeeze the back muscles, roll the shoulders down and back, right? Just because we're at the end doesn't mean that we can let the form go, right? I start walking like Sasquatch. I do that all the time. I'm just like, huh? Tuck the, tuck the tailbone under. Let's go. Nice and tall. You see me walking in the grocery store. It's like Sasquatch. I'm leaning over the, the cart. <laughs> My hair is all wild. Three, two, one. She just screeches. <laughs> Kidding. I walk like a normal person at the grocery store. So I think. Let's go. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. You have one more after this. Huh? I feel like we missed a couple of them. Time went by really fast the last five minutes. <sighs> Coming up. The last minute in 30 seconds. And then we cool it down. How you feeling? Yeah, we put in the work. Put in the work the last minute is three five four five fastest walk right stay hungry stay focused for the last 60 seconds and then we get to cool down i'll tell you when we're almost there one more increase one more minute one more moment to shine in five four three two pick it up three five four five oh yeah I'm at a 4-3. This is it for me. This is fast. Fast little walk here. My butt cheeks are hard like a rock. It's just like, ah, 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 ah. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Oh, yeah. You ever hear the saying, squeeze your butt cheeks so tight that you got a penny between your butt cheeks? Now, imagine you're squeezing so tight. Remember those machines? I don't even like say this out loud. <laughs> Remember those machines that you smush out the penny? That's how tight we're holding it. Your penny is not a circle anymore. Your penny is an oval. All right? Squeeze so hard. You guys. <laughs> oh, sorry. That <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> 15 seconds. You got 10. Come on. Come on. We're working hard. You got 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, you did it. Three, oh, four, oh, take it down. <sighs> well, my friends, fancy meeting you here at the end of this workout. Hmm. Let's cool down. So we're at a three, oh, four, oh. You can take it to your flattest road if you want. Cut mine on 0.5. I don't know about you guys. Inhale. <sighs> Exhale. <sighs> Good. We have about another minute before we go into our full recovery walk, but give me some shoulder rolls here, right? Roll them down and back, because a lot of times, man, my upper back and my, and my lower back too sometimes from walking gets a little stiff. Go take those shoulders forward. I mean, especially if you're doing like hour-long workouts, the stretch is equally as important as the actual workout. You can interlace your fingers, chin into chest, hollow out your spine. So you're kind of bringing the chin into your chest, trying to touch your spine to the back wall. I'm gonna try to extend my arms up, just realize I'm up in the basement, so ceiling is a little low. If you can walk and hinge towards the right, you can. Maybe walk and hinge towards the left. Got a little twist if you want. Go 15 seconds, we take it down to a two, five, three, five, in nine, eight. This is the last hit, the last hurrah, three, Two, two, five, three, five. Feel the difference now. Like, come on. You are like walking at speeds of lightning. It's, I don't even know if that's a saying, but you are walking way faster. Walking at this pace, you're like, ah, ah, ah. Let's just recap what we did, okay? So the first two blocks technically is one huge block. Uh, all inclines, all the way up to a, up to an eight on the incline and back down. Every single minute, we just increase our incline by 0.5. Oh, and then we have a minute left. Minute left. I don't know what's happening. I'm thinking time's erasing. Then we had two of the same blocks. 
right? 11 intervals. Every single minute, we just increased by 0.1. We had a one minute, or I'm sorry, a two minute walk and recovery bringing us back to our starting pace so we could do it all over again. And it was great. I'm sure you got some miles in. If you're walking at those paces around like four or five, maybe four and a half, five, that's a lot in an hour. So make sure you stretch, make sure you hydrate. Drinking water is going to help. Stretching out is gonna help. Especially late at night, you got nothing else to do. You're about to go in bed, even in your bed, stretch forward, little spinal stretch, taking the knees to the other side. All of it's gonna help release the tension in the back of the legs. It's gonna help you go for the next day. All right, this is Ibex Running. I'm Coach Rachel. This was our one, air, one hour pyramid progression walk. You can hit that stop button. That's it, and I'll see you next time.